Hey guys, thanks for joining me and welcome back. I hope you all are doing well today. So today in this video, this is a requested video and a friend of mine sent me a photo that she found on Pinterest and she asked me if I could recreate this at a bargain. Uh, she saw this in a set of four for over $100. So I thought maybe, yeah, I could do that. So what I did was I started at the Dollar Tree. So I picked up two vases from the Dollar Tree, two of the seven inch vases from the Dollar Tree. And then I started to look around and I saw something that I thought would really work well. The uh, sparkle mesh that they have at the Dollar Tree. Now this is new to my Dollar Tree. Um, if you've seen it before in your Dollar Tree in the past, let me know guys, cause this is my first time seeing it. And they had it with the gold scroll work on it, which looked very much like the picture she sent me. And I thought that would be a good idea to uh, try to use. And then I saw some small pearl, beaded pearl mesh wrap kind of a thing. This is the pearl wrap and it comes in three colors as you can see. So I picked up the silver and the gold and I thought maybe the gold pearl wrap would make a great edge for the top and the bottom of the inspiration vase. So these are the things I picked up for my project and on the way out I started to admire all the beautiful floral arrangements that are coming in. There were truckloads of new items coming in and regular items coming in to the Dollar Tree that morning. But anyway, so once I got home I quickly decided these are the two vases I'm going to use. A small vase which I already had on hand and one of the uh, seven inch bases that I just purchased from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to clean everything off with alcohol and a paper towel. I'm going to clean the inside and the outside because we're going to be softening the look of the inside of the vase first. I'm going to use some glitter in the inside of the vase. I'm going to use a like white clearish colored a glitter to just make the inside look softened and not see-through. I'm going to be using the crystal clear glitter and I picked this up from Amazon and it's like a generic brand and uh, this is the SKU number guys if you want those numbers back there I just wanted to show you that you can pause the video if you want to take those numbers down and so what I'm going to start to do is just add a little bit of my Aileen's clear gel tacky glue to the inside of the vase and I'm going to spread that very thin with my paintbrush and my paintbrush is in water so the water is going to help spread the glue very evenly and smoothly throughout the vase. So now that the vase is completely covered, I'm going to use some of that glitter and just sprinkle it around the inside of the vase. I'm going to make sure that the vase is completely covered, um, very lightly of course, and then I'm just going to set that to the side and allow it to dry. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on my paintbrush and then I'm going to just dab that glue right in the spaces that I missed. I'm trying to make sure every inch of the vase is covered. I do see some places where I missed and then I'm going to set it to the side and I'm going to continue on the taller vase. So before I put that to the side to a dry guys, I wanted to show you what the glow factor looks like. So if I wanted to use a tap light at the bottom of this, this is what that's going to look like, a beautiful glow. So I'm just going to set that to the side, let that dry, and now I'm going to work on the taller vase. So I already applied a little bit of the uh, glue or a lot of the glue, and I'm just going to use the same method, a damp paintbrush, and I'm going to spread the glue throughout the complete vase. I'm going to make sure the glue is very thin 
and smooth. So this looks really nice guys, so I'm going to stop here and I'm going to let them dry. So now that they both are dry, I'm going to start with the outside of the vase. So now the inside is covered and now, now I'm going to start with the uh, sparkle mesh wrap. This is really, really nice guys. I've never seen this before in the Dollar Tree. I'm glad I picked it up. The scroll work on this is really beautiful. The scroll work is made from extra fine glitter and I think it's just been um, adhered to the fabric. The fabric is very soft and lightweight, very gossamer like in uh, texture and I'm just going to just place it on top just to see what it's going to look like and surprisingly enough guys this does look like um, the picture that was sent to me. This really does. My scroll work is a little different but it looks very very similar. So right now I'm going to cut the uh, mesh down to the size of the vase. I'm going to um, cut two pieces because I want to be able to cover the complete vase. As you can see the dimensions of this it doesn't quite fit the length of the vase but that's okay. We're just going to cut a little extra and apply it to the top. And So what I did next was just cut enough for the uh, smaller vase. So next I'm going to start by adding a little bit of glue to the outside of the vase and the same method again. I'm going to be using a wet, a damp paintbrush, just dampen with a little water and I'm just going to smooth that glue out nice and smooth. It's going to be a wet consistency but it's still very, very sticky. And I'm just going to smooth it out. So as you can see this doesn't cover the vase completely so I'm going to just do this part and then I'm going to go in and then complete the upper part. I'm going to be using my wet paintbrush just to make uh, add a little bit of pressure making sure that the sparkle mesh sticks to the glue.
so now that this is done guys it looks really nice and I do have a little bit hanging over the top edge of the vase I'm going to uh, cut that away after the vase is completely dry and what I'm going to do here is use a silicone mat now this is a crafting mat I picked that up from Amazon and that what I'm going to do with this is wrap this around my vase just to make sure that the fabric is adhering properly to the vase and it doesn't shift or slide while drying. So I'm going to do that. Once it's completely wrapped around, I'm going to hold it steady with a rubber band. And now I'm going to do the same thing to the smaller vase. So now that everything is dry, I want you to see how it looks. It looks really nice and the sparkle mesh is firmly attached to the outside of the vase. So what I'm going to do now is just cut off any extra that's hanging over the top edge and the bottom edge of the vase. I'm going to do this to both of the vases. So finally what I'm going to do I'm going to use that pearl wrap that I showed you earlier in the Dollar Tree I got the gold version it's called floral garden pearl wrap it's four feet and I absolutely love this so what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting it down into single strips I'm going to apply one single strip to the top of this vase and one single strip to the bottom and I'm going to do this to the smaller vase All right guys, so while I finish up this project, I have to tell you, I absolutely enjoyed this pro project. This was very simple and very easy to do. And my friend was very, very happy with the outcome. Um, and she didn't want that extra lighting system that they had on the photo that she sent me. All right guys, so I'm gonna finish up. 
Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I do appreciate it. I appreciate you. Uh, welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you all so much, guys, for joining me, uh, subscribing. I, I appreciate it so much. And guys, to my regular subscribers who come through for every video, I love you. Thank you so much, guys. So please, as always, don't forget to thumbs up the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And you all, you stay well, you stay safe, and stay blessed. And I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.